Hey, what's up YouTube? Jeremiah Hersey here from Pragmatic Works. And today we're gonna to be talking about PDFs. And the question I got asked recently was, is there a way to take a PDF document and extract the data from it to include in a Power BI report? And the awesome news is, there is a PDF connector directly inside of Power BI. So that's what this video is about, is showing you this connector, showing you how to bring in data from a PDF, because a lot of people use paginated reports, and when that gets sent out, it's in a PDF, and they don't have the access to the underlying data. So how can they bring that data into Power BI and access it for themselves to build their own reports? So let's go ahead and take a look at the PDF document that we're gonna be using. So here's a, a sample PDF document that I got offline and you can see there are some metrics in here. We can see a couple tables with inside. So we can see some numbers, some extra tables in here. And so just imagine you received this PDF in a email, right? And they sent it to you. You can't make any modifications to it. So how can you extract the information or the data from this PDF? And so this is where Power BI really comes into play and makes this super easy. So inside of Power BI, we actually have a PDF connector. So if you click the database icon, this will bring up a full list of all of your connection options. And if you see right here, one of the first options is a PDF. You can also click the file option over here on the left hand side, and that will also provide you the link for PDF. So we're gonna choose the PDF connector. And then I'm gonna choose that sample file that I wanna bring in. So here's that PDF. Now, as always, with Power Query Editor, it's going to allow you to preview the data. So as I look through this, it looks like the first table is just kind of a header. But table two, there's that table that we saw before with the number of coils. So it did extract those three tables from our PDF. And then if I look down in the page worksheet, notice that it extracts additional information from the page as well. So if I wanted to create my own table, so notice this is very similar information to what is inside of table number three here. Okay, so speed, driver, car. Okay, it's the same data. So you can create your own tables from the information or you can let Power BI and Power Query Editor try to help you out. So, I'm going to bring in table, I'm going to bring in several tables here and I'll bring in one of these worksheets as well and I'll click transform. All right, so we can see that it has brought our tables in. It's formatted as a table. I can then uh, separate my data if I need to so I can split this column by the delimiter, which is the comma. I can clean up my data however I want to, verifying that, of course, our data types are correct. This is very important to make sure your data types are correct. But I can also kind of clean this up as well. So let's say that it does not extract any tables for you. You can create your own. So what I would do is I would remove uh, the first 18 rows here. So I would remove top rows and I would remove 18 and then looks like I can get rid of this column just to keep the top rows here and just keep five and you can see that we can create the table for ourselves if we need to. As you can see, you know, with this PDF connector, this really uh, changes a lot because PDFs is, is the go-to document to send out to make sure people cannot uh, manipulate or change that document anyway. And so when you receive that PDF, you, you can't extract any data. 
Well, now you can using Power BI. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.